This year's Tour de France was the 99th running of the race. In the 98 races and 109 years that preceded it, there had been 36 French wins, 18 Belgian wins, 12 wins for Spain, 9 for Italy, and titles for Luxembourg, Switzerland, the US, Ireland and others. No British rider had ever even finished on the podium, but this year Bradley Wiggins made history, winning the yellow jersey on the seventh stage and carrying it with him all the way to Paris. Some say he lacked panache. I'd point them towards the title securing final time trial, when Wiggins was a yellow blur through the streets towards Chartres, not just beating the field, but obliterating it. There was plenty of panache there. Yes, it would have been nice to see him scampering up the tourmalet like Pantani and his pump, but bike racing has changed in more ways than one since those days, and Wiggins and Team Sky carried out their race plans perfectly. It was a colossal achievement. The tour alone would have been enough to justify him winning the BBC award, but he followed up with a gold at the Olympics when he carried the immense weight of home expectation as if it were a lightweight racing jacket. Again, he eviscerated the field in the time trial. Even the smaller victories were of note. He won the Dauphiné in Paris-Nice, becoming only the third rider to win that pair in the same year. The other two were Jacques Anquetil and Eddie Merckx, two of the legends of the sport. Paris-Nice alone had not been won by a British rider since Tom Simpson in 1967. So in 2012, Wiggins made history for his country and for his sport. What more could you ask for?